Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for salvation and the simplicity of your gospel. Thank you for your perfectly preserved word. In English, the King James Bible, I pray that today's video will be a blessing to anyone listening and allow repentance to be applied by those who need it. We're not perfect, so forgive us for our shortcomings. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Now, disclaimer, today's video is not an attack on David Lynn personally or his followers. This is about correct doctrine and to defend the word of God as is. A while back, I did a video on David Lynn and I was questioning his questionable witnessing tactics specifically to Muslims. Well, no, well, you can't, you can't have God enter into a dimension of creation unless he can, but if he's not creation, he can't. He exists. God is... He exists, but he's not in creation. Because at the moment he's in creation, that means he's created. Yes, he's independent. Right. So if he's in creation, that means he's created. If there's any picture of God's attributes, it looked like Jesus. If God were to ever enter into creation, ever, if he could, but since he can't, let's just say he can't, but if he could, if you looked at all the prophets, all the messengers, why, well, why can't he? Because he's not creation. I worship God, the one true living God, through Jesus. No, I'm not Muslim because Christianity came before Islam. Well, how does that make it more right? If you don't worship Jesus, then you're Muslim. Congratulations, brother. Now, as of recently, I actually saw other content creators talk about David Lynn and how he is turning into a false teacher, teaching clear false teachings, and actually becoming more of a cult leader give your neighbor another high five i don't think they got that clap down pat yet especially the ones that are sitting there silent and don't know what to do we're here to teach you to clap your hands no wonder our praise life is sometimes pathetic no wonder we don't know what to do when we come to church we don't know how to clap our hands we have no rhythm in romans chapter 16 verses 17 to 18 we read now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them for they that are such serve not our lord jesus christ but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So today we're going to be talking about some clear false teachings from David Lynn and three points that show that David Lynn is turning into a bit of a cult leader. Point number one. And that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment how shameful it is for people behind the back of pastor david when i give instruction and counsel you think i'm saying things out of the whim of my own breath when i declare certain things do you have any respect for the house of the lord or the authority given unto me and if you don't you need to find somewhere that that you're you're in tune with because if you're not in tune with me all you're doing is creating problems for me first corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 to 13 the word of god says now i beseech you brethren by the name of our lord jesus christ that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment for it had been declared unto me of you my brethren by them which are of the house of Chloe that there are contentions among you now this I say that every one of you saith I am of Paul and I of Apollos and I of Cephas and I of Christ is Christ divided was Paul crucified for you or were you baptized in the name of Paul so in this passage of 1st Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 to 13 the Apostle Paul is appealing to the Corinthians to agree with one another and not be divided. He wants them united in the same mind and judgment. Paul's heard reports from members of Chloe's household that there are quarrels and divisions among the Corinthian Christians, divisions that shouldn't be. Some of the members of the church say that they follow Paul, others follow Apollos, which is an Alexandrian Jewish man, others follow Cephas, aka Peter, and still others say they follow only Christ. Now Paul asked rhetorically if Christ is divided or was Paul crucified for them? Paul's point is that Jesus alone should be the center of their faith and unity, not by individual church leaders. This unity over church leaders indicates a lack of proper theological focus. And that you all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same 
judgment how shameful it is for people behind the back of pastor david when i give instruction and counsel you think i'm saying things out of the whim of my own breath when i declare certain things do you have any respect for the house of the lord or the authority given unto me david lynn does not read first corinthians chapter 1 verses 10 to 13. he clearly twists scriptures to unabashedly point this all back to David Lynn and if you don't you need to find somewhere that that you're you're in tune with because if you're not in tune with me all you're doing is creating problems for me amen you need to be in tune because what God is trying to do requires a, a singleness of mind it requires a unity of spirit now what if the Lord commands a congregation member of David Lynn's congregation let's say he's instructed to actually follow him and not david lynn well according to david that congregation member cannot receive god's blessing and if god is going to bring me into the prophetic but all you're doing is looking at pastor david and looking at the leaders oh who are they you're not going to receive the blessing you're not going to walk in the same place at the end of the day it is the most high god of the bible who grants his gifts to anyone he pleases through his holy spirit you can read about the spiritual gift of ministering and teaching as well as prophecy aka preaching the word of god powerfully in the book of romans chapter 12 verses 6 and 7 and the other spiritual gifts you can find in first corinthians chapter 12 verses 8 to 10. point number two in fact a lot of people have already left because they weren't of us the bible says they left to show that they were not of us because if they were of us if they were intimate with us if they were of the same mind the same spirit they would have stayed but they left to show and expose that they were not fully of us first john chapter 2 verse 19 they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would no doubt have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Who was the author John referring to? People who left the faith, not people who leave some church 2,000 plus years after the fact. We read in the previous verse, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. John is addressing the believers as his quote unquote little children in a paternal way. He's saying that it is the last hour slash end times, just as they were told there are many Antichrists already, proving it is the end times. Verse 20, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Don warns of the rise of false teachers that shows the end times have come. True believers will remain steadfast while these antichrists eventually fall away, proving their superficial commitment to Christ. As Bible believers, however, we can be assured of the Spirit's guidance through difficult end time deceptions. And again, this is not how David Lynn explains or uses this passage. In fact, a lot of people have already left because they weren't of us. The Bible says they left to show that they were not of us because if they were of us, if they were intimate with us, if they were of the same mind, the same spirit, they would have stayed. But they left to show and expose that they were not fully of us point number three i i feel that some baptists not all i i say baptists a lot as a password but i feel i feel that some baptists have developed uh bodybuilder muscles around their neck power lifter muscles around their neck and no matter what the pentecostal preacher says about getting filled with the holy ghost he just can't drink he doesn't want it he, he can't receive it i would say in some way they become reprobate to the spirit of the lord okay so now david lynn takes shots at people however the word of god does not speak of denominations on the contrary the word of god talks about many members of the one body of christ we read in first corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 and 13 for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is christ for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body whether we be jews or gentiles whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink into one spirit david lynn clearly teaches false doctrines david lynn 
clearly twists scripture for his own benefit, exposing how prideful and arrogant he has become. David Lynn is taking shots at other people in the body of Christ when his job as a pastor is to edify out of love for the congregation and love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only does David Lynn show inconsistencies that have made him seemingly turn away from sound doctrine, David Lynn is showing signs of becoming a cult leader. And no matter what the Pentecostal preacher says about getting filled with the Holy Ghost, he just can't drink. He doesn't want it. He, d he can't receive it. I would say in some way they become reprobate to the Spirit of the Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Now you can choose to follow men as long as that man follows Jesus Christ. But if that person does not follow Jesus Christ, you have to choose who you want to follow but choose wisely. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Let us pray. Lord Heavenly Father, thank you for today's video. I pray that anyone listening may be inspired and blessed by your word. And so I pray for forgiveness of our shortcomings and allow repentance for those who are in need to be applied. So your will may be done. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen.